hello there virgo welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here i'm about to come out with some messages for you to see what's coming up in the next seven days ahead all right remember to hit that thumbs up button if the messages resonate with you like share subscribe to this channel i think some of you are attracted to someone that you're probably watching like you're taking a peek at this person thinking in your heart "Ooh, I'd like to have a go at that maybe there's a me a need to walk away from a situation all right who are you spending on like this person you could be spying through a curtain looking at any uh, uh, listen as if you're fattening fattening up your eyes listen your heart is full thumping beating at this person that you're looking at what's going on as if you're 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 fascinated or entranced by this person this person could be water sign cancer pisces or scorpio this could be someone that you had a relationship with you'll begin to see and you walked away from this connection or the person walked away from you you know there was a separation maybe because there wasn't a lot of emotions involved someone walked away from this connection my readings are long so we have someone blocked someone disconnected someone left to follow their heart now someone is spying and looking back into this person's person's life maybe wanting a new beginning we have the hierophant this person may be hiding a ring or this is you virgo maybe hiding a ring behind your back while you're trying to open the door like hey it's me um i have something for you with your hands behind your back maybe wanting to propose to this person but is it gonna happen who knows because we have the hierophant here and we have this jack of wands who isn't coming with a lot of love intention so this marriage marriage um offer or what may seem to, to look or appear like marriage it may be a front or something look see what i'm saying the moon energy because things are being things on things not revealed things hidden huh so so what intention are you going back with just passions and desires to to go to someone that you're attracted to but does does, does this person want to be with you maybe not virgo i'm sorry this reading is so um it could be that this person is focusing on money i'm not sure this could be a person's energy where they're watching you so the Hierophant card is maybe you do want this new beginning. Maybe a person, you want a new beginning with a fire sign. Um, a new love relationship. You want to see where this goes. You know, you're following the desire, your desires. You have made a decision to go on this journey. You left something behind. You Something ended. You stole away. You left. You disconnected. Let's see from who. Oh, we have a broken heart. And then we have a what? Oh, from a water sign. So I see there was a disconnection from a water sign here for you, Virgo. And I don't know if it is this person that you're wanting to go back toward or nah. Um, it could be something new, a new passion, a new ignition, something new ignited in you, a new beginning that you want with another person. This could be a new love. After being blocked, we have Pisces card here. Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups now. Now, this person could have offered you a lot of love in the past. A lot of love and spiritual enlightenment. So, this person was a blessing, I feel. With the Hangman card and the Ace of Cups, it does feel like a kind of a blessing. Like, because someone that comes in and takes care of you emotionally. This is amazing. This is real love. New love. Abundant love. Right? With the Ace of Cups and with the Hangman card, this, was all, this is spiritually based as well. So, this was probably given out of the universe this connection but there, somehow there's a blockage here someone disconnected from this situation or someone blocks someone all right virgo let's look at your spread we have the moon some secret maybe you're the one that's feeling like you're not seeing some truth you know you're not seeing everything maybe that's why someone is paying here trying to see the truth 
are trying to seek out a new love interest someone wants to make a move to go back but because they're unsure of what is going on maybe you're unsure of returning because you're not sure if this person is with someone you're not sure what they're doing what they're focusing on right now but i do feel like you someone sees another person looking beautiful we have the queen of pentacles energy here we have the ten of pentacles here wanting a new beginning and that's your card virgo the emperor so i definitely feel like you're watching this person side-eyed like observing now this could be um your person watching you virgo remember that the, the reading can turn um it can take it can turn in the direction that most suits you or your situation so this is this is nice because we have two queens here we have the emperor and we have someone like looking at someone over here like this person is really focused in their past this could be you this could be a person looking back in their past or connection that they felt was amazing because we have the ten of pentacles here as if this could have been could have been beautiful and um but something is not being seen someone wants to see the truth of something before they can make a move toward this other person here all right because i feel like this person is over here looking amazing I'm looking wealthy and vibrant and focused on their journey ahead. And then we, ooh, child, I'm telling you, I do not make these things up, you know? I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. Hashtag tarot lovers. Hey. Um, because there's a four of pentacles card here. So someone is holding on to something. It could be holding on to the feelings that you had in a relationship from the past. It could be holding on to money. You could be feeling as if you don't have enough money right now to go around. Some of you could be investing. Okay. And then look at this. Now we have the six of cups energy, which is past love connection. So it's like some of you could be dreaming of going back to this past person. And that person is Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio with the cups energy. That's water sign. You may want to go back to this person to offer some love or affection and attention. But this person, you're not sure what their situation is. All right. We don't know. Right, Virgo? I feel like you may love this person. Let's see what your fears. So this is so this is how you, I feel like you literally sit down. I'm sorry, Virgo. I'm not sure. So I'm, the person I'm reading for now, I'm speaking directly to you. I feel like you literally sit down and you think of this person from your past connection the love that you shared it was real it could have been a soulmate connection with the six of cups someone that reflected some things about your own self in love and you're wondering if you should go back and make an offer an apology or say something because this person over here is probably not even thinking about you really and you just i feel like you could just want to return you could be someone that have their own business here with the emperor card while you're sitting there working, you're side-eyeing this love connection from your past. You're trying to find out some truth here before you move forward. You're looking, hey. But you could also be affiliated with, someone could be watching you while you are watching this person. Look at this. Hold on. Someone could be watching you, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're watching this person over here, who is at the Pisces. Or another earth sign or a water sign cancer Pisces or Scorpio you may be wanting to return and give this person a solid money like you want to give them some bag here could be money you want to put some money in this person's hand but you're not sure what the situation is because your hopes and fear is the eight of Pentacles you could be fearing that this person is really focused right now like all of their attention is elsewhere the the queen of pentacles and the eight of on the eight of pentacles virgo like you think this person is hella focused this could also be your energy where you're really focused on work you're making your money you're financially stable and confident right now and this could be how you are feeling or thinking that the person you may want to return to is feeling let's see how these cards play out on this side some of you could be wanting to go toward a new love connection, but you're not showing any interest there. So I really doubt it, right? I really doubt it's new. I feel it's old. So this person could be working on themselves, leveling up their sense of value. And you see that in how it reflects on them because you, you know that this person works on themselves. is rooted, grounded, emotional, you know, very humble, calm, beautiful inner world. That's the energy I'm getting off of this person. I can sit down 
on their own and find joy in putting in the work and that could be you too virgo that's your energy and your outcome is the seven <laughs> of wands and and on the bottom of the deck we have the tower so something ended this is what this is all about you want to see what your past person is dealing with because it what ended is your relationship and so you literally are just focusing and what's going on with this person here and with the we have another fire sign someone may be fighting for you you may be wanting to fight for this connection here that's me that may be what's going to happen we have a lot like maybe you have a lot to deal with but you're going to be, have to be really re aggressive in order to go back if you want to go back to this connection and aggressive mean i feel i feel expression in this card i feel heart i feel creativity passion and desire and maybe that's how you're going to be standing up for yourself in order to get the, uh, the attention from the person that you want to get the attention from and this could be a past person it's probably going to take a lot but you're going to have to be not in your ego but in your authentic state i feel ego would be more in the air energy aries leo sagittarius why why, why do i keep doing that in the air energy gemini libra aquarius that's air energy it, that would be more ego based but i feel when it's in one's energy it's more pure it's natural it's raw it's of earth so if you're about to step into your manly your manly uh divinity your masculine energy or your feminine energy in the real way to get to really connect with a person you could go ahead and give it a try because that's your outcome is that you're going to be giving it a try because this is all you're thinking about something that ended and you may want you think you want a new beginning with this person but what i'm feeling for you is that i know this reading may sound a bit off but listen this is what you came here for i see that you came to find out about this person in your past what they're doing hey I, let me tell you they're over here looking beautiful with the queen of pentacles energy clarify the queen of pentacles in Virgo's reading, please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Nothing is coming out. Your person is probably not even speaking with you right now. They're not saying anything. They may be going through a lot of changes. They may be getting new love offers, probably meeting the Twin Flame. It could be you that's coming around to represent as the Twin Flame. Who knows? Um, they, um, so I feel like this person is really focusing on work, healing, studying, going back to school, all these things. Clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Focusing on money, leveling up, focusing. Oh, fuck it. This person is focusing on healing, re re reclaiming their wealth and their health and their balance over here. So listen, if you're going to have to, if you're going to come in, let me see how you plan on going in there. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. And let's clarify the Seven of Wands, please. Do you, Angel Spirit guys, let's give Virgo some messages. Listen, you're going to have to heal as well to go back through to this connection. There's going to have to be some changes here. Equal giving and taking. Emotional balance and support and fulfillment. Accepting one another. Seeing someone purely beautiful. You're going to have to see yourself from a higher perspective. You're going to have to go in with the forces of the angels on your side. To really, to even, to even shake this water. Look, strength. To even stir this water you need strength and divinity look oh my gosh you need to know that if you're going in you're going in with your army the tower is still here on the bottom of the deck to any new beginning this person is f is strong is beautiful magic you need so you need to be doing some things healing and forgiveness of yourself maybe you do know you did some damage to this person I don't know, but these are powerful messages, and all you can see is over here. Um, all right, Virgo, we're leaving your messages here. If you would like a personal and intimate reading done just for you, check the description box. My email is in the description box, so email me for further messages on that. Um, subscribe to my channel because I post up new messages for you every week. So you get to see what's unfolding in your energetical field and get clarity for your areas of uncertainty in your experience here. Thank you so much for tuning in on your way out. Do remember to hit the like button. Very important. Um, share this video. Subscribe. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel, 
you can do all of that in the description box e um, details for all of that can be found in the description box below this video all of your support toward me and my channel is greatly and abundantly appreciated remember virgo that you can do anything and everything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you much love take care bye